Hey YouTube, Alex here at Suncoast Aviation. I'm getting ready to take this baby up. Just check the weather, just finished my pre-flight. Everything looks good. And uh, I'll be flying to uh, our training area, which is about 50 nautical miles uh, to the southeast from the Naples airport. And I'll be performing some maneuvers, some maneuvers for the commercial uh, certificate. And now I'm gonna share it with you guys. And uh, well, I'll be doing uh, some lacy aids, some chandels, uh, steep turns, steep spirals. Thing is, there's a lot of maneuvers, so I'm gonna divide this uh, video in two parts. So uh, this will be part number, uh, part one, and I will see you guys there. Naples Tower Formation Echo, 1354 Zulu, wind 130 at 5, visibility is 10, sky clear. Temperature 30, 2.26, altimeter 3011. Visual approach and use arriving and departing runway 5. Hold short of all runways unless crossing clearance has been issued. Use caution, bird, wildlife activity out of the vicinity of the airport. Ground control clearance delivery command 121.6, advise unless you contact UF Echo. All right, pre taxi uh, checklist, flaps up. Avionics is on, ATIS, I just received it, altimeter is set, we're squawking BFR and we are in altitude, we'll put taxi lights on, attitude indicator is set, and we're showing west on the magnetic compass, and we're departing runway 5. This is November 5123 Echo. We are currently uh, in front of London Aviation. We'd like to request a taxi with information Echo and we'll be departing to the south. Test 5123 Echo, Roger. Uh, runway 5, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 14. We'll taxi to runway 5 via Alpha and we'll uh, cross runway 14 for 123 Echo. All right, parking brake set. And run up checklist. Brakes are set, fuel is both. Trim, take off. Flight controls, up, down, up and down. Rudder is ruddering. All right, 1700 RPM. Pre-takeoff checklist. Uh, this will be a soft field takeoff, so we'll put 10 degrees of flap. Mixture is best power, car heat is cold. Uh, we're squawking BFR and we are in altitude. Heading indicator is showing uh, runway five. And magnetic compass is showing 030. There you go. Um, everything is closed. Put the landing light on, taxi off. 242 Tango Foxtrot, right when able, and contact ground point six. Have a good one. Uh, right on Alpha 4, contact ground, Tango Foxtrot. Again, thanks for your help out there. You're welcome anytime. That's what we get paid for. You do a great <laughs> job. Appreciate it. Tell my boss. <laughs> Visit this week. All righty. Air five one two three echo runway five. Turn course is approved. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway five or one two three echo. Air speed is alive. Maintain that center line. Forty. Forty five. Fifty. All right. Now let's build up. Some air speed. Two, one, six, seven, zero. Right turn on course is approved. Traffic ahead is also southbound runway five at Delta One. Clear for takeoff. All right, we've got zero is clear for takeoff. Got seven zero forty two. If you wouldn't maintain one thousand five hundred on your downwind entry, traffic departing the field southbound two Cessnas. One thousand five hundred for the right downwind warning. Runway five, King Sir forty two. All right, positive rate of climb. Clear of all obstacles. Flaps five, up. One two three echo Cherokee traffic. All right, approaching a reference point. And I'm gonna drop it and start my steep spiral. Power completely out. Traffic, 
That's 180 right there. Clear the engine. And I've got a cloud layer on top of me, so I can't really go higher than this. So uh, we're just going to do one, one turn. And we'll do some uh, steep turns. Clear to my left. And there's 30. Start pulling. And maintain that altitude. All right, this is a lot better. One drill. And slowly start my rollout. Just want to go. It's gonna want to go up. And that is beautiful. And now we're gonna start it to the right. So six three nine one eight. Left downward from my one zero. Want to go a little bit up. Start the rollout. Just wanna... There you go. I mean, not that bad. I did lose some altitude. And I believe it was because my power setting. Alright, I'm approaching my reference line and full power. Turn to 30 and start pulling up, pulling up until my 90 degree point, which is right there, and slowly start pulling out. And the nose wants to go down, so. Alright, that's not that bad. Also, the important thing in these maneuvers is uh, keep the aircraft coordinated on all times and keep that ball centered especially when you're doing the maneuver to the uh, right power up start turning put some right rudder in there and 30 degrees and there's my 90 degree point start coming out keep pulling up keep pulling up Southwest, inbound for landing, runway one, Seabring. That was pretty good, pretty good. Hey, Marco Island traffic, uh, Cessna 5123 Echo, we are 10 nautical miles to the east, uh, doing some maneuvers, Marco traffic. And Marco Traffic, Cessna 8926 Victor has departed runway 17 to the south. We're going to run the coastline for the guy out there um, maneuvering. We're heading for TNT, so we'll run up the coastline and stay to the west of you, I guess. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. All right, painfully slow turn. That's my 45 degree point. And start going down. 30 degrees. That was a pretty aggressive pull. And roll out and up. And slow turn. Put some right rudder in there. Seabring traffic. And traffic is uh, 45. Nine Start to letting north. it go down. Uh, any traffic in the pattern? What runways did you? Uh, Mooney, this is a Piper Warrior 9392 Charlie. We're five miles uh, west and we're using runway one. 39 Victor, you're the first guy I heard. Thank you. I mean, uh, I need some practice as well. At least I came out right at 100 of the ACSS plus or minus 100 feet. I'll try one more time, um, starting to the right this time. We'll descend to 2000. Got a cloudy layer up here. And we'll start doing some slow flight. And then we'll head to uh, Marco Island Airport and do some uh, 
180 accuracy turns and uh, short field landings. Park feet on, power to 17. And we'll control uh, the altitude with the power and speed with pitch. Uh, like that. And power completely off. Alright, let it descend. Then and push up. Marco Island traffic, Jelly 5625. There's a stall. Recover. Descending to 1500. Flaps 20. There you go, flaps 10. Start going up. And flaps out. I mean, not too bad. I mean, all, I just started doing uh, my, all these uh, maneuvers. I haven't done them in a long time since my private. So I still need uh, practice, but I mean, that's the point of doing these videos is to document uh, my uh, progress as an aviator. And uh, I should have started earlier. I should have started when I was getting uh, my private pilot's license. Not license anymore, it's a certificate, but, uh, but yeah, my private pilot certificate, my instrument rating, and when I was going to school to become an AMP. But I guess it's never too late, so now I'll be uh, documenting uh, my commercial, uh, my CFI. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get my CFII and MEI, uh, but for sure also the uh, multi-commercial and ATP. So keep posted. <laughs> and Marco Island traffic, uh, Cessna 5123 Echo turning left now in 417, and this will be a touch and go, Marco traffic. And we'll start this descent as a normal landing, put 10 degrees of flap, and maintain 80. Once we turn our base, that's when we're going to drop the flaps and power out, and we'll come down to runway 17. And there's my key position, car feet on, 17 RPM, flaps 10 degrees, and we're going down. And there, we'll turn left base. Marco traffic, Cessna, 5123 Echo, turning left base for 17. This will be a touch and go, Marco traffic. And dump all the flaps, and power out. We'll maintain 65 knots. More power, a little more power, a little more power. Power out. Got that. Made. Oh wow, beautiful. I like that. Right in the numbers. Wow. That's a short field landing, man. Well, I'm happy with that. We'll go ahead and do the uh, 180 accuracy landings. Alright, there's our key position. Power out, and 65, and right, we'll turn now, Marco traffic, Gold R44 helicopter, 300 feet, uh, 8 miles south of the field, going to be transitioning shoreline from the south to north, at or below 500, Marco. Okay, I got it this time, I got it. Come on, gust. Gusty winds. Well, not that bad. But I'm happier than the ones before, that's for sure. Alright, we'll head back to Naples now. And Naples Tower, November 5123 Echo, we are eight, eight nautical miles to the uh, southeast, inbound for landing with information Foxtrot. That's 5123 Echo, be a jet passing overhead there at 2200, inbound for the right base. You continue inbound for the right base entry, runway 5 also. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that traffic and we'll enter the right base for 5 for 123 Echo. So, unfortunately, my GoPro ran out of battery 
So I wasn't able to record the last part of the video, which was the Southfield landing here um, in Naples. But I just want to go over uh, some of the maneuvers I did. I still, for some reason, the 180 accuracy landing, I have problems with that. I mean, I just end up too high. Um, the last one was okay, but it's not up to my standards. And um, I just got to keep, keep practicing and get good at it. The rest of the maneuvers, uh, the steep turns, I mean, I ended up a little too high in the rollout. I wasn't exactly uh, right on the on the heading, I was probably 12 degrees off, so the ACS says plus or minus 10. So I gotta get better in that. The steep spirals, um, I was only able to do one uh, one turn, just because there was a cloud layer, I couldn't go high enough. Um, so I've done it before and I, I'm pretty confident with that one. And then the Shandells and Lazy 8, I mean not bad, uh, but it's just it's a matter of practice and practice and keep on practice, practicing, sorry. So uh, I will make a part two to this video. I'll finish it up showing you guys the, the rest of the maneuvers for your commercial certificate and uh, keep posted. I, I mean, I'll be documenting my, my, uh, all my training. Um, I should have started way earlier. Uh, I mean, I said it even in the previous videos, but um, I should have recorded my private my instrument, my A and B. But from now on, um, I'll be documenting uh, my, my commercial, probably my CFI, my CFII, if I get it, I'm not sure about that yet, but my main goal is to end up in the airlines. Um, so you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be posting a lot more videos. Take care.